I get on this app and I put out content. Sometimes it's encouraging. It can be motivating. It can be funny. Um, but behind the camera, I just want to let you know that I'm a real person. And I go through things just like another person goes through things, right? And uh, some of the things I have went through in life um, has been a lot. I, I, many may not have lived or survived. And... Uh, I understand when we're going through something that we're not the one in control. But it'd be hard to try to like, you know, say we know that God is controlling it. We know that, you know, God knows what he's doing and we're just going through it, through the process. But we also got to make sure that we're praying through the process. But it re- this thing that I'm going through, right, it reminds me of uh, when I broke a, a bone in my thumb. And you would think a small bone like that wouldn't cause so much pain, but it was the worst pain I probably could experience. And I broke other bones before, and I swear this was the worst. And so I was so frustrated. I was so mad because it restricted me from doing a lot of things. I couldn't wash up like I wanted to. I couldn't uh, cook. I couldn't wash dishes. I couldn't go to work. I'm a truck driver. Couldn't drive the truck for a few days. Couldn't tie my shoes. Couldn't get dressed. It was just like, ugh, this is irritating me because... I feel like I am an overachiever. I like to do everything uh, myself. And I feel like if I don't do it, it's not going to get done right. And so I was just so mad that I'm sitting here in this pain. I couldn't control it. But I had to re- be reminded by God. And he says, I'm in control. You know, you don't understand what's going on. It might be something behind why your thumb got broke. I'm in control. I knew this was going to happen. So you're just going to have to be patient and go through the healing process, right? So I get out of that, and then I'm in another situation, another journey that I'm going through uh, two months after. And uh, gracefully, God has been gracious. He's been graceful to me. Uh, He's been able to allow me to do things I want to do. But it's getting to a crunch, and I'm getting a little worried. Uh, but I know that I'm also having to stay prayed up. But I'm also getting encouragement too. Um, but when you're going through the storm, it be so hard to focus. But you have to be focused. You have to just know that you're not in control. This ain't your world. You didn't give life to yourself. You know, uh, God already knew the plans he had for us before he put us in our mom's womb. So... When we're going through life and we're lifing, all we can do is pray and try our best to keep our sanity. Try our best to keep our sanity. Look, if you got a strong friend, I am that strong friend. Check on your strong friend. Pray. If you can't check on, pray for your strong I'm talking about a real prayer, a genuine prayer from someone that genuinely wants to see you succeed. Because everybody that pray for you ain't praying for you. To succeed, they could be praying for your downfall. Um, so just make sure that when you asking for prayer, you asking for prayer for the people that actually want to see you succeed. All right, and know that we can get through this thing. And I'm preaching to myself because I'm I'm really going through something, and I'm trying my best. Some days I get up and I don't even want to get up, but I know I have to get up, so I get up and I keep it moving. <laughs>